Ross Remembers. Conversations with Almost Live's original host. Now, the old days were not easy. I can't count the times we'd be on the set. Then just before showtime, somebody would say, Where's Keister? Where's Keister? Well, we started looking, and eventually somebody would find him passed out under some desk in a pool of spilled Jack Daniels. And what'd we do? Well, a couple of swift kicks would usually bring John around. But you know, when I look at those old tapes now, I realize that John did some of his finest work in that drunken stupor. Ross Remembers. Conversations with Almost Live's original host. I'll be honest. I was dead set against having Bill Nye on Almost Live. Isn't it funny how things change when you get a little older and a little wiser? Not this, though. I think he's holding them back. I really do. Ross Remembers. Conversations with Almost Live's original host. Oh, you know, as I was telling Charles Nelson Riley the other day, in the early days of Almost Live, we used to serve a glass of wine to each audience member just to get them loose enough to laugh at the material. Nowadays, I hear it takes about a six-pack and a boiler maker. <laughs>